Stream Deck support is now available in Camo Studio for iPad 2.2. We've partnered with Elgato to bring this highly requested feature to you, so let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is make sure your iPad is set up to communicate with your Stream Deck. To do this, go to the iPad App Store and download the Stream Deck Connect app. Follow the instructions on the screen to open your settings and enable the Stream Deck device driver. Once the driver is enabled, you can plug in your Stream Deck and you'll see it show up in the Stream Deck Connect app. The key layout of your Stream Deck will vary depending on which model you're using, but all of the supported Stream Decks have the same set of key functions. To see a full list of key functions and what the key layouts are on each of the supported models, check out our manual link in the description below. I'll be demoing with the Stream Deck Neo today. Now let's open up Camo Studio for iPad. The first five scenes in the current collection will populate their thumbnails onto the first five Stream Deck keys. Tapping on a specific key will switch to that scene. For tips on how to get your thumbnails to look nice on your Stream Deck keys, check out our manual or our video on thumbnails, both linked in the description below. If you tap on the ellipses key, it will open up a folder with more scenes in the current collection. You can use the touch points on the Stream Deck Neo to scroll through all available scenes. Tapping the up key will return to the main scene collections page. The default collection is all scenes. The keys with the double arrow icons scroll through available scene collections in your studio, so make sure you're using scene collections. Hitting the gallery icon from the scenes panel will open up the scene gallery view, which makes it easier to organize your scenes into collections or reorder them so that your most commonly used scenes are the ones that show up on your Stream Deck keys. Next page on the Stream Deck Neo focuses on useful functions while streaming or recording. The first key is the Start Stop Streaming key. Tap once to start streaming and tap again to stop. The icon on the Stream Deck will change depending on which streaming service you have selected. So if I switch to my Twitch profile, the icon on the Stream Deck changes accordingly. Next up is the Recording key, which works the same way as the Streaming key. Tap once to start and tap again to stop. The single arrow keys on the Stream Deck are Previous and Next Scene keys. So if you have your scenes set in the order that you're most likely to use them, you can just use the arrow keys to switch back and forth between scenes. The key with the mic icon works to mute or unmute and reflects its state on the Stream Deck key. Since the primary video source is often configured as a capture card or screen share, the secondary video source is most likely to be your face cam. That's why we added a key to this page for you to turn the secondary video source on and off quickly in case of emergencies. Tapping the key once will turn off your camera, and tapping it again will turn it back on. This key opens or hides your stream panels, and the last key on this page toggles the iPad in and out of full screen. Next page up is the Editing Functions page. Opening the Edit page on your Stream Deck Neo will automatically take you to the Layers tab in the left-hand navigation panel. Using the Stream Deck keys, you can add text, images, shapes, and web layer elements to customize your scenes along with an undo key for convenience. On this page, we also have keys for showing or hiding both of your video sources, and last but not least, this open or hide markup feature key. And that sums up Stream Deck support in this update. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback, so let us know what you think of our key functions, our key layouts, and what camo functionality you'd like to see us add to Stream Deck support moving forward. You can leave us a comment below or write to us at support at reincubate.com. See you in the next video.